Yeah, no Andy nerfs. Yeah, I saw that earlier. Yeah, no Andy nerfs. So we're getting into these nerfs. Um, up a couple weeks, seven of the first ones. Vigilant Guardian fixed an issue where dying with unstable core could cause it to become non-interactive. Oh, I didn't realize that could happen, so you can't take the orb uh, to bring the boss down, so that's funny. Uh, Lehuvim. Lehuvim's corpse can no longer become stuck in the air if killed while casting uh, realignment. Oh, so when he's coming down, people would kill him and he'd get stuck? That's pretty funny. <laughs> Acquisitions of Toma. Let me lower this a little bit. We don't need a... No, no, we don't want to mute it. just want to lower it a little bit. Okay. Yes, Acquisitions of Toma. Uh, detonation radius reduced by 20 yards. Was 40 on normal and heroic. Okay. So that's a lot less uh, mechanic, uh, basically raid wipey at this point. A lot less chance you'll get wiped if it's 20 yards rather than 40. That's half. That's nice. It's going well. How do you sleep? I slept good. I slept good. Still bad. Yeah, NBN, I know. Takes a couple days. Takes about a week, actually. Uh, the cast time of detonation has been increased to 2.5 seconds. Was 2 seconds on normal and heroic difficulties. Nice. So that Lehuvim fight is going to get a lot easier, it looks like. Artificer Zymoth, uh, Zy Spell Slinger health reduced by 20%. Oh wow, so that makes the adds much easier. And Debilitating Ray periodic damage reduced by 20%. Debilitating Ray periodic damage? I don't even remember what the hell that is, honestly. Is it the rings? And either way, it's a reduction of 20%, so more, less damage there. The Prototype Pantheon. Wow, there's a lot of da damage reduction here. Wildstorm has been reduced and removed from normal and... Uh, normal and Raid Finder difficulties. Not really relevant to us. Uh, Sinful Projections has been removed from heroic difficulties. Wow. Decrease the health of Necrotic Rituals by 30% in normal and 15% in heroic. So we'll get those adds down probably much quicker. Here it is. It's the Spellcaster's Ray. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. You're talking about um, Artificer. So that's 20% reduction. Okay, so the ads basically got nerfed. The ads got nerfed for that one. De decreasing the health of uh, Withering Seeds by 30% health on Normal and Raid Finder difficulties. 20% health on uh, Heroic difficulties. 10% on Mythic. Oh, so those little pods are going to be easier. Easier to heal up. Interesting. Resolved a scaling issue, causing withering seeds to increase their health to steepy, to steeply on larger raid sizes. Okay, so the health increase was too steep, evidently. Halandris, Halandris, Halandris was a big, a big like uh, raid stopper for a while. So that the Halandris has been nerfed many times over. Uh, he was a hard one for us, I remember, week one, but we got over him. It's going to be a meme. Yeah, Helandris became a meme, literally. The crab boy became a meme about uh, how tough he was on Mythic. Uh, fix an issue causing damage from Lance and Lightsaber Beam to ignore some damage uh, reduction effects. Well, that's good. We need, we, need to, we need not to ignore damage reduction effects. Fix an issue causing volatile charges to break... If the player carrying the volatile charge disconnected, that, that's funny. A DC would basically affect the raid. Light shatter beam damage decreased by 30% on raid finder, normal, and heroic difficulties. And reclaim periodic damage effects uh, scale more slowly on heroic difficulty. Okay, so some damage reduction here and some bug fixes here on Halandris. Interesting. Skolex. Missile travel time for devouring blood increased by 2.5 uh, to 2.5 seconds. It was two seconds in heroic. Okay, those are the little missiles that come out. I see. Let me. Uh, this is our. Hold on. This is our closing music. We cannot listen to this right now. Uh, Designee duration of disintegration halo debuff 
Lower to 5 seconds was 6, ah, so we can absorb the rings more quickly. You don't have to run as far anymore to avoid rings. One second less on that, on that debuff. Ragalon. Increase the duration of collapsing Quasar field uh, to 10 seconds on normal and heroic, and decrease Ragalon's health by 5% on heroic difficulty. So all these are going into effect today. And now a bunch on the Jailer here. All trap doors will now close in phase 3 on normal difficulty. A decreased knockback of uh, Disseminator on normal raid difficulty. A lot of normal. It's all normal here. Decreased knockback for Misery on normal. Decreased growth of Defile on normal. So, bunch of normal. Bunch of normal nerfs for the Jailer. Uh, but we already got the Jailer down, so they don't matter for us as much. We got him down on normal. No biggity. What's up, Miggity? That's good. <laughs> What else here? Tazavesh, failed market, got a nerf. It looks, oh, they fixed an issue in Tazavesh. Uh, sometimes ignoring players. Postmaster fixed an issue where Postmaster was um, missing a boss frame. Oh, interesting. Mythic, Mythic Plus encrypted affix a fix? There was a bug with this? Fix the bug where two sets of encrypted relics uh, to spawn Amarath and Harvester on the boss. After the boss reset. Oh, okay, okay. Fix a bug where sometimes prevented encrypted relics uh, from spawning with dueling warlords before Zav the Unfallen in the Theater of Pain. And then some PvP fixes here for a couple uh, a couple crowd control, looks like, uh, and different changes here. Interesting stuff. So no changes to Anduin. Anduin's still a bitch that so we're going to have to get down today. We're going to make it happen. What's up, Wiss? Good morning. We're going to get him down. I believe it. Nerf or no nerf, we're getting him down. And it looks like the rest of this raid is going to get a bit easier uh, after reset. So interesting stuff here. 